she's kind of the one female that all the other females get along with. So not all of the females are as bonded with each other, um, but Roxy is the one that's kind of the universal friend for everybody. Recently in Primate World, we've had a virus go through the building, so we're always really careful, but sometimes they get sick um, because they can catch things from us. And just an example of how it is different for Roxy, um, one of our gorillas, Quisha, had the same symptoms. She probably had the same virus, but for her, we were more comfortable waiting and just trying to give her food and fluids. Whereas Roxy, we went ahead and did a vet procedure on her. So she went under anesthesia, um, got fluids, injectable antibiotics, and things like that, just because you know, there's always that higher level of concern that she'll go downhill much faster. Usually if Roxy's not feeling well, um, we might see her lying down or being lethargic, but usually before that happens, we kind of have warning signs just because, you know, we've worked with her long enough that we know if she refuses her morning drink or maybe she is a little slow to take meds or um, sometimes she'll eat her food, especially apples, weird, she'll eat them really slowly and peel them with her teeth. And if we see that, we know to watch a little bit closer and maybe try to push fluids more or, you know, just pay attention because she might be not feeling well. Um, so every year all of our grade apes get a flu shot and some of them are a higher priority than others so, you know, it takes training to get everybody to accept their, either their intranasal vaccine or their injectable vaccine and Roxy's always a super high priority because she's elderly. So just like with people, um, really young animals and older animals, we always really push to get those flu shots to them. She's really great with training, so she, it seems to really enjoy training, like she claps and grumbles when she sees us coming. So um, so I just taught her to actually um, target her face to a spoon to stand up, um, and then she already kind of knows sitting. Um, and so then I just, you know, faded the spoon out, so now she just knows. So I just ask her to stand, and she stands, and she gets a treat. And I ask her to sit, and she sits, and she gets a treat. And we just do up and down, up and down. Um, she's a really fast learner, so she's, she's pretty easy to train to do new stuff. Roxy's our, like our tallest female, so she has a really long torso um, and little tiny short legs. She also has a really prominent brow ridge, so sometimes people think she looks grumpy, but that's just her face. Yeah, so, hello. Um, so yeah, gorillas, when they're having fun, they actually giggle, like it's like a low sounding rumbly giggle, or sometimes it's like a, a sort of a panting sound. Um, but yeah, usually right here in this spot, um, if Roxy's kind of sitting in her nest and Asha wants to be playful, she'll come up um, on the porch next to Roxy and she'll just like sit in her lap or she might lay down and put her feet on her um, just to try to initiate play. And usually Roxy, you know, just is fine doing it. 